Sciencesville School Board is now considering a plan to have middle and high school students begin their school day a little later in the morning. Yeah, the proposal would put the kids in the classroom well after 8 a.m. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk tells us that supporters say it is just the right thing to do. Zinesville school administrators want students sleeping more at home, less in class, and staying healthier. Middle school students would benefit the most, getting an extra hour of sleep, starting school at 8.40 instead of 7.40 in the morning. Carlos Strawmeyer has three energetic boys, but hasn't forgotten sitting in class that early. It was hard. It was very hard. And so, I, yeah, I, I get it. More than a decade ago, Eyewitness News documented the difficulties and dangers of teenagers having to be in class before 8.30 in the morning. Medical research found students snoring through school isn't entirely their fault. We all have what are called circadian rhythms. They're like biological alarm clocks. They tell us when it's time to go to sleep, when it's time to wake up. The problem is teenagers' clocks are set to a different time. Students' internal clocks are wired to keep them up at night and sleep later in the morning. As a result, kids are not going to be tired um, early at night, um, and that makes it hard to get enough sleep. Sarah Honecker is a pediatric sleep psychologist at Riley Hospital. The vast majority of middle schoolers and high schoolers are not ready to start their day at 6.30 a.m. or 7 a.m. or even at 7.30 a.m. And so as a result, we get chronic sleep deprivation. A condition linked to hyperactivity, weight gain, heart problems, depression, even auto accidents. Two years ago, the American Academy of Pediatrics told schools they shouldn't be having teens in class before 8.30 in the morning. The recommended plan makes that happen for high school students too, but to make the bus schedules work, elementary school students would have to start school an hour earlier at 8. I have sleepers, so that's going to be a little tough, but we will definitely adjust. There may be plenty of time to adjust. If the recommended plan is approved by the school board, the school time changes wouldn't occur until the fall of 2017. Back to you. All right, thank you, Rich Van Wyk in Zinesville tonight. Now, a survey done by the school district found that about three out of four parents support the proposed later start times. To find out more information about that, go to our website, WTHR.com, and click on the story.